Hello everyone, and welcome to the Guild Geekify programming channel. Saeed Kohansel is here. In this video, I'll teach you how to create AI-generated videos using Pixverse AI, including viral AI fusion and hybrid animal videos, how to upscale and enhance video quality, and share some pro tips, all with free tools, and I've left all the necessary links in the description. First, let me show you some of the videos I've made in different styles, so let's watch them one by one. This is example one. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's make some magic together. This is example two. Here's example 3. My name is Sarah, an amazing cosmic girl from Moon. Example 4. Hello everyone, I love you all so much. Example 5 Example 6 Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all today? I'm here to unlock the magic of AI for you. Example 7 And finally, Example 8 All right, let's start by creating a Pixverse account. First, go to the Pixverse website and navigate to the sign up section. Here, use a temp mail service to create your account. Then verify it using the confirmation code. Perfect! 
your account is now ready to use. Now, let me show you how to get unlimited credits. Keep in mind that Pixverse credit policy may change over time, so always check their latest limits. When you create a Pixverse account, you start with 60 credits. You can earn 30 more credits by logging into the Pixverse mobile app with the same account, just claim them in the Earn Credits section. I just did this myself, so now I can claim those extra 30 credits. That brings me to a total of 90 credits. Whenever you run out of credits, simply repeat this process, create a new account, verify it, and log in on the mobile app to claim another 90 credits. This way, you effectively have unlimited credits. By the way, all the sample videos I showed you earlier were made using this exact method. I generated each part separately in Pixverse, then edited and combined them in video editing software. And here's the Pixverse dashboard we'll be working with. Here, I have several high-quality AI-generated images. Let's take a look at them. I'll be using these images to create my video. And for the Fusion video, I'll specifically use these three images. Alright, let's start creating our video. It's worth noting that you can either create a video from scratch using prompts in Pixverse or use your existing images to convert them into videos, image to video. I plan to use my own pre-made images. First, I want to teach you about the auto speech feature, which allows us to make characters in our video speak. I'm setting the quality to 720p, so I can upscale the generated video later using another tool. In this text box, you can select the narrator's voice or leave it on auto mode. Hi, I'm Adrian, young and free, right? I'm Oliver, full of energy. Hey, I'm Ethan, just... I'm James. You can also enter the text you want to be spoken here. In this input field, you can enter your desired prompt, what you want to happen in the video. It's recommended to always enter a prompt as Pixverse gives better results this way. Finally, click the Create button to generate the video. As you can see, the video has been generated. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Sterling. Welcome to my rainy city. Hello everyone, my name is... If you use the download button, the downloaded video will have a Pixverse watermark. Hello everyone. My name is Matthew Sterling. Welcome to my rainy city. If you want to download Pixverse videos without watermark, just use this trick. First, open your browser's inspect tool and use the element selector to select the video frame. On Windows, just press Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Then open the link you see in this part of the code in a new tab. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Sterling. Welcome to my rainy city. As you can see, your video now has no watermark and you can easily download it. Yes, it's that simple to remove the watermark. Okay, now let's create another video using this image. This time I'll set the video quality to 1080p. I'll enable auto sound and write a prompt. With auto sound, you can define and generate music in your preferred style, desired vibe, or various sound effects for your video. If you don't write a prompt, it will automatically generate some audio or music for your video. Well, here's the output for this one. The generated audio isn't great, which is why I recommend always writing a prompt. Let me download this one too. Another thing you can do after downloading the video is delete it so it doesn't remain on the server, though I'm not sure if it gets completely deleted from the server. In any case, it's up to you. Now it's time to create transitions, which allow us to do fusions between multiple characters. For this, go to the transition section. 
select two images as start frame and end frame. I want to perform the fusion process in two steps using these three images. This is the first step. I'll also write a prompt to generate sound for this video. And I'll write a specific prompt for the fusion or transform action. I'll set the quality to 720p. Okay, let's generate the next step too. For this video, I'll remove the sound and also the prompt. Yes, as you can see the result is satisfactory. Keep trying until you get your desired results. Now let's download this video. And this is the second step which I think looks great. Okay, so now we have two videos that we can connect together using editing software to increase the video length. Now it's time to learn a few tricks. The trick I want to teach you is useful for extending video length. We essentially do the same transition process but use the same image for both start and end frames. This makes the subject in our image perform the desired action and then return to its original state. I'll generate this video at 1080p and write a prompt to add fire, explosion, lightning and spark effects to the video. Yes, this is another good result. Now you can add this video to your final edit to extend its length. I'll teach you another trick to extend a specific part or frame of your video. This trick is usually useful for the end of your videos. From the image or text section, select an image you want to extend. For example, I'll select the last frame of the video to extend it, I mean this image. Then I'll write a prompt. I'll set quality to 1080p and enable auto sound. Well, apparently there's a problem. Excuse me, I forgot to claim credits in this account. Okay, now let's create the video. Well, here's another satisfactory result. Now we can download it and add it to the end of our video during editing. Alright, in this part, I want to teach you how to upscale videos using AI. You should know that videos generated by Pixverse are 30 frames per second. I'll introduce you to two free services that let you upscale your videos up to 4K resolution and 120 frames per second. The first upscaling service is Topaz Labs which can give you amazing outputs at 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second. The second service is VMake Video Enhancer which gives quality outputs but you can't control the frame rate. Okay, to use Topaz Labs, just create a random account. This service currently doesn't send verification codes so you can use any email you want. If the service requires verification, just use a temp mail service. Skip this section, it's not important. This service gives you 20 credits when creating an account. When you run out of credits, just create another account to get unlimited credits this way. Okay, select the video you want to upscale. In this panel you'll see various options where you can adjust resolution and quality. 
you need to test them to get your desired results. For example, I've tested 1080p resolution with ART and CG preset and know it gives us good quality. You can use the frame rate boost option to set your video's frame rate. I plan to use 60 frames per second. Also, the standard preset with maximum relative sharpen gives stunning outputs too. Okay, now let's get an output with these settings and check it. While this service processes the video, let's try the next service for upscaling. This service upscales videos up to 5 seconds completely free and gives you the output without watermark for download. Let's create several tasks in both services and finally compare all outputs. I'll upscale this one video with different settings. This services panel also has settings you can change, like output resolution. You can easily download outputs using this button. The tasks in this service are still processing. Let me put the downloaded versions from Pixverse next to the upscaled versions to see the difference. Yes, as you can see the resolution and quality of upscaled videos have improved significantly and acceptably. Finally this service's output is ready too, let's download it and see. Let's compare these two versions from both services. In my opinion, the Topaz Labs version has amazing quality plus double the FPS at 60 frames per second which is great. Wow, I think the quality of this output is amazing, what do you think? Okay this output is ready too, let's download and look at it. Hello. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Sterling, welcome to my rainy city. This output looks truly stunning and very realistic. Now let's upscale this same video with VMake 2, and compare both outputs. Hello everyone. My name is Matthew Sterling. Welcome to my rainy city. Okay, this output isn't bad either, but the Topaz Labs version is much clearer and better. Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew Sterling. Welcome to my rainy city. All right, in the final part, I want to show you an edited version of the transition we created. Good luck and be successful. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. To stay updated with my latest content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I value your thoughts and feedback, so don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video beneficial.